Hey, welcome back to Big Board. Well, here we are playing Great Battles of History, and this is a particularly interesting little uh, campaign that I may mention to you at some point that I was going to try. Uh, it's all about uh, King Alexander uh, the First of Molossus, who was um, actually the uncle of Alexander the Great. And the Epirot, uh, uh, uh clans and uh, or race uh, were uh, particularly aggressive in their uh, expansion in uh, under Alexander. And uh, this is the second battle of three, and it's particularly interesting because uh, Consentia was a fairly wealthy city of the Brutai race of folk, and. Alexander was uh, particularly interested in uh, trying to uh, capture that city and expand and uh, expand the reach of Greater Greece. And the Brudai were kind of isolated in the middle of the southern portion of Italy and surrounded by uh, port colonies of the uh, of the Greeks. So uh, Alexander, you know, ventured forth and had, has already uh, beaten the. Uh, beaten these chaps once actually didn't beat them he beat the Apulian uh, forces tribes which is a pretty uh, pretty much a straight up uh, mismatch of forces with uh, the phalanx forces and the heavy infantry really doing a fair bit of damage to the tribal spear and shield armed uh, you know, obviously softer armor, probably leather armored uh, folks of the Apulian tribe, which I think there were just, uh, they had some um, Lacanian uh, irregulars supporting them as well. So, in this bit, so that was the battle of, where is the name of it? Sepontum. And then uh, we moved to this battle, which Battle of Consentia. And this is a big deal because uh, beat these guys here, and then you go, you cut through to the core of uh, the Brutai area, you capture the town, everyone gets a lot of loot, everyone's happy. So that's always a good thing. And in this little mini campaign, the really cool thing about this is that uh, you uh, deduct your losses from uh, the battle from last time, which we'd only lost a skirmisher unit to rout. And uh, then you get to add some reinforcements. So uh, we added a... Uh, heavy infantry unit we converted four tarantine medium infantry into uh two seleucid uh and the representative uh two seleucid forces uh phalanxes they're only rated six but that's cool and then you when you set this up because they don't know what you're going to have uh, and you know some other bits and pieces you get as well some cavalry and things like that <clears throat> but that you don't know what you what you're going to have so in the setup instructions you're allowed to pretty much do whatever you want uh, now, that poses a, p a problem for me, being the conniving little Great Battles of History player that I am. Uh, because if you look at this setup here, you've got some weak unit medium infantry here, then some slightly better medium infantry, and then some really tough medium infantry, and then even more uh, tough medium infantry. And, and when I say uh, tough, I'm talking about their TQ or troop quality ratings. So here's the place to attack if you're the if you're the uh, pirate uh, group. Now, the other problem I have with that is that I've got Molossus with his awesome cavalry over on the right wing. And I've got uh, only two heavy cav here. So in terms of, it literally says, you know, set up as you wish within the certain boundaries of your being south of the 1800 row and the 1500 row on or south of the 1500 row. And, uh, you know, go go at it as you wish. Uh, you obviously got to keep some sort of formations. And I, I used the simple great battles of history formations that they allocated to both sides as a kind of a guidepost. And I noticed that it had the right wing, uh, Alexander on the right wing. Uh, here he is here. I'm actually thinking that uh, it, it'll be a faster game <laughs> and more entertaining for me to uh, write about. If I move Alexander's cavalry over to the left wing, which we'll do now, and he will bring his three heavy cav 
and one white cab over to this side. And we'll take uh, his other leader, this dude, who I can't pronounce his name. It's uh, Z-E-U-X-I-S. And we'll pop him over here. And they'll form sort of a, a holding pattern. Now what I'd really like to do is take one of the extra heavy cab and pop them over with Alexander. And you know what? I think I'm going to do that. <clears throat> so now what does that make the matchup look like now? I know we've got a little bit of glare there, so let's cover this off here. We've got three, uh, two uh, light cavalry that we'd be opposing and they're seven rated this time not six as they were last time and then one sixth rated Gallic unit so we'll be able to press up here hopefully take these guys out fairly quickly and then begin pressing in on this side and I've got all the archers now these are some slingers here but all the archers are in the center of the map and I'm going to angle everybody in this way and we're going to try to attack here and then screen off uh, with the light infantry and uh, perhaps these mediums and we'll just we'll just hold a line here and see what uh, the enemy does, what the Brutai do in reaction to that. There's a little bit of a, a Lido mismatch as well. Actually, no, no, it's all, it's pretty much even all, all the way across the board. In fact, only Alexander has a six. Okay, so, so that's, that's kind of the, the state of affairs. And I think that will, that'll play well for, uh, for, for Alexander to drive on the left flank up here, drive on this left flank, and then really try and hack into these guys and then just roll, try and roll these guys up across, uh, across the board. We'll see what happens. All right. Catch you guys later.